Stanja Balisco here to show you a simple op amp oscillator circuit. I've shown you um, op amp uh, amplifiers, I've shown you differentiators and other such circuits further back uh, quite a long while ago, but um, basically an operational amplifier is just a bunch of transistors connected together to produce a whole lot of gain. It has two inputs marked plus and minus and an output. The positive or non-inverting input uh, is in phase coincidence with the output or should I say the output uh, coincides in phase with the non-inverting input whereas the output opposes the phase of the inverting input. Now it's important to distinguish between phase opposition and 180 degree phase shift. They're two entirely different things. Phase opposition simply means you turn the wave upside down. That's why you call it the inverting input. Whereas 180 degree phase shift means that you move the wave to the right or the left that is the future or the past by a half cycle. With a sine wave they're equivalent with most other waves they aren't. But phase opposition is always upside down with respect to phase coincidence. Well you can limit the gain of an operational amplifier by providing some negative feedback and we've done that here in this circuit even though it's an oscillator although it is grounded through a capacitor. The output, however, is also fed back to the non-inverting input. And that produces an in-phase feedback which will cause the operational amplifier to oscillate. Uh, depending upon what this resistance is and what this resistance is, uh, it sort of affects the waveform of the uh, of the oscillation. You'll have to play around with these to find out what kind of waveforms you get. But the capacitor uh, determines the frequency, keeps the oscillation from occurring at just any old frequency and possibly even a fluctuating frequency. Or worse yet, at some frequency far removed from anything you ever expected. You can control the frequency by choosing the proper value for the capacitor and you'll need to look at the specification sheet for the particular operational amplifier that you choose for this circuit. Of course here's the output. You can't expect a perfect sine wave at this output. Uh, the waveform again will depend on the values of these components and you can just get an oscilloscope, even a, an audio oscilloscope program for a computer will work uh, pretty well to see what kind of waveforms you get when you play around with all these values and see what kind of frequencies you get. But that's how to get oscillation in an operational amplifier is to feed a signal back in phase, uh, feed the, some of the output back in phase to the amplifier so you get in effect a vicious circle and it produces the oscillation. Stanja Balisco signing off. Until next time, so long.